what's up guys so in this video i'm going to teach you how to model a serum bottle so first of all what you need to do is you have to import this reference image into blender so before you import it go to the front view and left click and drag and place it over here okay so if you didn't press if you want to make it make sure that it is in the center of the world of the cd world of the 3d world what you need to do is you have to if you have to click i mean you have to press alternate g then your your image will be in the middle lah. okay so after that after you import your image what you need to do is the first method that you have to do is you have to add a three uh mesh lah. so the basic shape of the bottle is a cylinder so we add we add a cylinder and this is the the radius and the depth of the bottle lah. so the the depth is 4.5 cm and the radius is 1.4 cm and make sure you change the vertices to 64 okay why my object is automatically set up to the correct value because uh, before this i already do it and i really call it because of some points that i miss okay so after you 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 make sure the size is correct then you can zoom in a bit okay or you just press uh, period or maybe you can just press tilde and view selected okay but before that scale the reference image down okay try to match up the mesh ah. so um, because the one that I I measure just now for the height for the depth is from here to here so you you try to mesh it up ah. like this okay yeah around maybe like this ah. okay so whenever you add a object or I mean a cylinder or any object that you want it to be smooth shading like this is flat shading this is called flat shading so you want to make it smooth shading what you need to do is by right click and shade smooth okay what do you, what do I, do I mean by a flat shading is when you see the f the faces it's like jaggy right so you want it to be smooth so what you need to do first is right click and shade smooth and then you go to this triangle thingy triangle properties or, or they call it as object data properties turn on auto smooth under the normal options and change the, the uh, angle to 60 degree okay then you go to the modifier properties add modifier and add weighted normal keep sharp weight will be 100 okay so as a reminder every time you want to do a you want to create a object that an object that is smooth shading you need to do this kind of uh, this kind of this step ah. remember to do these steps every time you want to add a smooth shading object okay so let's get into the modeling so click your object select your object uh, rename it to bottle okay then go to edit mode go to edit mode by pressing tab okay go to the wireframe view by holding z bu z button and uh, hover your mouth to the wireframe okay then then in in the edit mode there are three modes uh three selection modes so the first one is the vertex selection second one is the edge selection and the third one is the is the face selection so the shortcut key is one two three on the top of the keyboard it's not the numpad keyboard okay so if you press one it will be the vertex vertex selection if you press two is the edge, edge selection and three is face selection so go to the vert vertex selection first so select this top vertex so this is the uh, next modeling method or algorithm that you need to know which is uh, extrude so when you to extrude an object or a faces or a vertex and edge to extrude what you need to press is you have to press E so when you press E see your object will extend like that okay so let's say you only select a, a, a vertex like this so you, then you press E then this vertex will extend like this okay so because you want to we want to extend the whole face like this uh, over here so select the face the face press one and just press e 
the, the just now I press one because I want to go to the front view. So the one that I mentioned was the numpad one, lah, not the the on top of the keyboard one. Okay, so place it at the correct position, then scale it down by pressing S. Okay, then press E again to extend it to the, uh, to this position lah, to match the reference image lah. So then what you need to do, you need to select, uh, you need to select, you need to um, smoothen the edges over here, this this one and this one because right now it's too sharp. Because when you see the reference image, it's it's uh, it's smooth, right? So to smoothen it out, what you need to do, go to edit mode, you press hold alternate and left click. This will make it will save you time, ah, because if not, you have to select this one by one. So to save your time, hold alternate and, and left click. This operation is known as uh, edge select. Ah, uh, so edge select, ah, uh, uh, sorry, loop loop select. Edge loop select like that ah, because uh, if you want to know the correct name, you can just go to select, select loops, select edge loop. Okay, so this is the correct name, select edge loop. So this one is the select edge loop operation. So to add selection is by holding shift. So to to add a new is uh select edge loop. So what you need to press is shift and alternate, and press it pre uh, left click over over here ah, where, wherever you want to select. Okay, so the next operation, the next uh, method that you need to know is bevel. Bevel is to smooth any edge, any sharp edge. Ah. So to smooth, to smooth this one, we will smooth this one first. So uh, alternate left click here, then press Control B to bevel. Okay, after you press Control B, you can scroll up and scroll down to add more geometry or lessen it up uh, or de decrease the amount of geometry. Okay, then left click to apply, right click to cancel. So I, I already left click. So then the, you have this menu over here so that you can control. Contr you have more setting. Ah. You can decide what, how many segments that you want, how, how, how big the bevel is and, and so on. Ah. Okay, so I will be leaving it like this, maybe 0 0.25. At 11 segments and okay, that's done. So then I want to bevel over here, but this one will be on the small bevel. Okay, so this one will be 0 0.45 and yeah, 5 segments is enough I think. Okay, so the last one that I want to show you in this video is how to smoothen this bottom part. So to smooth this bottom part is by, it's the same method as just like now, like just now, which is bevel. So select this face and control B to smoothen it out. Okay, then you can add segment maybe for the bottom part. I want to put eleven, and the width will be around zero point two lah, like this. Okay, so your bottle body is almost finished. So for the next video, I'll be teaching you how a little bit how to add details to the bottom part and to finish the bottle. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.